What is up, YouTube? MD14 here, uh, in a different location. I'm actually um, out and about uh, here in San Francisco doing something out here, but I hope all of you are doing well. I can't leave you guys hanging here. I did promise you some videos, um, so some gaming news. And luckily, it's been a very slow week, even though it's Wednesday when I'm filming this. Um, it's been a really slow news week uh, this entire week uh, as we are getting close to the Game Awards uh, nominees, which I think will happen next week for sure. Um, but some news finally came out and we're going to be talking about Phil Spencer talking about um, a potential Xbox uh, gaming handheld that, uh, that has been rumored for quite a while. I think earlier this year, uh, a lot of a lot of rumors and speculations of a handheld, especially with those uh, leaked documents that came out um, later on earlier this year we even talked about it on our podcast which by the way if you're not checking out podcasts go check out podcasts a gaming podcast myself and some amazing friends who are in the industry we have a great perspective uh of uh of the gaming industry there's eight different perspectives i know it's a lot that's a lot and that's kind of a lot but you know but it's, it's a not everyone's all not everyone's all, all at once sometimes we are and it's a chaotic time but you gotta love it uh make sure you go check us out as we um it's a weekly podcast if you want to catch up with the biggest news in the gaming industry as well and of course make sure you're checking me out on twitch.tv slash md14 while um we are playing the latest games uh i know since i'm out i'm itching to be playing games i i really don't play games um unless i'm streaming it and there's times where i'm like i just want to play this game right now but i have to finish this edit or finish this anyway you hear you hear about phil spencer so enough about me but yeah hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2k so close um but yeah, phil spencer and i wrote i had to write it down here because i only brought my phone here and i have my um headset hopefully this sound works i do apologize for the scuff stream and everything so i did write down some notes here before i'm gonna go talk about because i only have my phone with me long story short um so phil spencer acknowledged the handheld um but there are no, there's no plans of it coming out anytime soon like within a year or anything like that it's definitely in the long term of things um which you know it's great to hear that he's actually acknowledging um acknowledging that yes there is a handheld in the works um but it's nothing anytime soon we definitely like, they definitely want to check out the market and see how to um have this optimized at, at its best as well i know um Riley from our podcast, we've talked about um, Xbox should have their own handheld and that way you, you could have your Xbox games on the, on the go. Maybe it have the power of like a Xbox Series S in a way. I mean, the Series S is so small already. Half the time you just bring your Series S with you anyway. So why not just make it into a smaller um, handheld device in a way? Um, but it's it would be neat to have like your Xbox device. Um, that way you can play your Xbox games natively on there. And um, and also have uh, you know like maybe like a Steam as well or even download like Epic as well. Don't have it restricted just to Xbox. Just just make like oh you can play your Xbox games on there, so your entire library goes along with you and everything. That'd be pretty cool, I must say. That'd be really neat. Um, and it looks like they're also focusing on that, which is great because uh, Phil Spencer uh, quoted here focusing on improving the Xbox app. Like the reason why it's on a long term situation because they want to focus on improving the xbox app on other platforms which is absolutely amazing to hear um i know a lot of people complain that the xbox app on other devices is not as is not as good even on the pc side of things is not it's not the best in a way i feel like <laughs> i feel like every time i boot that ad up on, on my on my pc even if i say if i boot it up on monday and i boot up and then i boot up again on tuesday it's an update and i boot up again on wednesday guess what there's another update i'm like how how's this app getting updates and i don't see any difference like what's <laughs> what's happening here <laughs> in a way um but yeah they they definitely want to be focusing on improving the xbox app which is truly amazing and i feel like once they have that nailed down to um other platforms and like having like the xbox app and maybe even possible um like the windows side of things um, because that's also like the main thing and I think that's what he he was kind of like hinting at in his way um, like the whole Windows as a platform um, it would be neat to possibly just have like a Xbox OS maybe um, let me know let me know your thoughts in the comments before uh, in the comments in this video but like, it'd be neat to have like a, a Xbox OS that way you could just um, you don't have to have all the bloat of 
of Windows running on the handheld and, you know, I'm like a mini PC. Although, it is kind of neat. See, I'm for me, I'm in the world of, I don't mind having Windows on there, but I can see it draining the battery of the handheld, where like if you had your own OS, that way you could kind of optimi optimize it in a way. Um, the reason why I don't mind having an, an, uh, a Windows up, Windows on there is the fact you can, you know, if I want to record something with running like OBS, I could do that. Um, if I would, if I had like a, a gaming handheld here, um, I could, and I want to like, you know, show like this, like the article, for example, I could do that. I'm not restrictive of, uh, of quality, you know, of like, of, I'm not restrictive of doing, uh, being, being creative, I should say. Um, and which you could do, like I've done videos of, of different handhelds and I was able to like test out like the creative side of things of like running OBS and streaming a game here or live recording myself on there. Uh, and because since a lot of them you have like USB-C connectivity, I could just plug that in. And like basically I'm running with, I'm walking around with a mini computer, like a very small computer. And yes, it's dedicated for like, you know, my games and everything, but I could also do some creativity on the side here. I think that's something that they shouldn't not should not fall, like like just like, like forget like dump that away um i mean that's just that's just my wish thing like let me know i know like this maybe that's such like a niche thing i i know many people are just like i don't care about it. i just want to play my games with a good battery life i completely understand but if there's a chance to have both or maybe have like a windows mode um where it's just like it helps optimize with the gaming side of things and the battery life and but you can still have like remember how you were able to switch windows <laughs> back in the day that would be that would be really cool you can, you can switch windows to like like game gaming mode or something like that but anyway i digress um focus yeah so they don't want to focus on improving the xbox app on other platforms which is truly amazing because that is definitely needed um on on other platforms and i feel like once they nail once they nail that and have like a good idea um I'm sure they'll be pro they'll be creating the Xbox handheld along the side, and once things are working good, like on a, for example, on a, uh, on an Ally or even like the MSI Claw, for example, um, then they'll be like, well, hey, it works great on there. If you want our, if you want ours as well, here you go, you know. And if they bust it out as as a price, man, if they had come out as a price of a of a Xbox uh, S Series S. I think that would be great. That'd be really good. I think that'd be a, like a really good uh, price point right there. Um, if it has like the power of the S as well, I don't think anyone will be complaining. I really don't think anyone would be complaining in a way. But, um, but yeah, once again, great news to hear that they are working on that. Um, th there's some acknowledgement as well. Once again, it could be something that they like, yeah, we're working on it. And if they don't, if they see it as something that just doesn't fit in their ecosystem, it then it just won't come out as well. So also take that into consideration as well. But it's cool that they're working on stuff like this. It's really neat that uh, that something that people something that people really really wanted. Which I'm kind of surprised. Let me know in the comments below as well if this is something that you really wanted. Because, um, you know, I know the handheld market is amazing and all, but it's I've been hearing a lot of people, especially the people on, on the podcast as well. Um, they're like, no, like xbox and needs to come out with their own like they need to come out with it like it's such a huge call out which is which is something so which is something i found really interesting to hear because i was like why do you want them to get in this field why do you want xbox specifically get in this field and everything so um nintendo keep an eye out my the, <laughs> it might not be so roomy and it might not be so open you know so uh it might be a little, maybe get a little crowded in there so check it out uh you better keep an eye on the on the Nintendo. But anyway, um, great news from our good buddy Philly S. I call him Philly S. He doesn't know I call him that. But uh, don't tell him that. Anyway, <laughs> I love your faces, everyone. And I will have some more videos for you uh, throughout this week. Even though I'm away, I did promise you guys some videos. Make sure you come check out my other videos as well. I have some uh, gameplays, uh, some walkthroughs that I've had like. <laughs> built up for so long 
go check it out. Give it a like. Let me know what you think about it. And like it once again, if, you, if you're liking this gaming news format as well, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button or, you know, even hit the dislike. Engagement is good. I don't care. Um, but the main thing is hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2K. As always, everyone, have yourself a damn good one.